Hello and welcome to this new video from Ashutosh Bogra, your real estate agent friend. And uh, so every property that we sell or anybody sells or buys, after that, it is uh, the, the best thing is that it gets transferred in the records of all the utility companies, like um, for the purposes of house tax and MCD or SDMC, uh, for water in Delhi Jail Board, for electricity in BSES records. And most people don't actually do it because they don't know how to do it and it's a problem. So recently, uh, the government started a new thing that every time you go and get a property registered, they would take an undertaking from you that you are okay with. Like you don't have any objection to them transferring your name in the, in the name of the utility companies. I mean, it's, it's silly. I mean, why would anybody have a problem? But then what happens is sometimes it gets transferred. Sometimes it does not get transferred. And apparently, I, I tried to research on it that why is it not getting transferred. I have not seen a single case of MCD mutation getting done on its own, but I've seen some cases, water and electricity, it does get transferred, you know. So, but most of the times it doesn't. So I tried to research a little bit more and I found out that it seems, it's, it's not a sure thing that if you're, if it is mentioned in your sale deed in, in exactly the way as it's mentioned in the old bill, you know, so say, that says Surinder Kumar Singh and your sale date says Surinder Singh, you know, then apparently it does not happen or your address was A-1 oblique 2, but your sale date says A-1 by 2, so it doesn't have a dash, so you see there's a mismatch, so <laughs> apparently this is what I, I, I found out, but more important than that, uh, it's a very simple process actually and we as a matter of process, every property we sell, or we wait for one week, if it gets transferred fine, otherwise what we do is we get the MCD mutation, uh, water and electricity transferred for our clients. It's a simple process, if you, uh, you, you, you could like go online, research it yourself and do it yourself, maybe I'll make a video on how exactly to do that. I don't do it, I have a guy who does it for me, so, uh, but <clears throat> I can find out. And, uh, or I can write a guide or a blog on it and you can read that and do it from there. But you could also take help of your broker, whoever is helping you getting your deal done. Uh, and, and it could be transferred, but it's a very good thing to get it transferred because, you know, so many places you need your electricity connection as, uh, as a proof of residence. Otherwise, you have to share your sale deed copy, which you don't want to be like going out every, to every place. If it doesn't get transferred, you know, so say you apply it online, it doesn't get transferred, then you what, what you what you need to do, then you need to like go and visit the place. You probably can send an assistant who can do that or you could always ask your broker like to do all of these things for you. He will have to spend some money there to be honest. He'll probably go, you know, some, some money will be spent or he'll use some other tout who will get it done or whatever. So, uh, maybe three, four, five thousand per utility company or it could be done for free. I mean, depends, depends on your circumstances. I hope this video helps. If there is anything else you'd like to know, uh, let me know. You can comment and uh, you could write me directly to my email. I'm always available. Thank you.